Hello internet, it is Adam Malik Aaron Aaron. Welcome back to my fall 2019 box office predictions. And today we're going to be talking about the current war director's cut. We're going to talk about its pros and cons and let's, let's get this over with. Because let's be real, I don't care about this movie. You don't care about this movie. No one cares about this movie. So we're going to go through this as quickly as possible. Alright, so let's go. Let's go. So, the cast is actually pretty decent, you know, in this movie. You got Benedict Cumberbatch, you may know him as Doctor Strange. Michael Shen, you may recognize him as General Zod. Nicholas Holt, you may recognize him as Beast in the new X-Men movies. And you got Tom Holland, who you all know as Spider-Man. So, the main four uh, actors here were all in superhero movies. Just a fun fact. And, I mean, there's not too many adult movies. I mean, The Lighthouse and Jojo Rabbit and other movies, they're kind of still in limited release. This is going wide, so technically it's the only movie of its kind out right now. Just like Black and Blue and Countdown. But that That's all I can come up with. Cons. Uh, this movie's had quite the... Rocky history, but you know because this movie was shelved for like two years, and the reason why is because this movie was originally supposed to be released by. Oh boy, I love I just love talking about this, the Weinstein Company, which was headed up by one Harvey Weinstein, who I'm pretty sure you've all heard of. You heard about him in the news. At least once. So it was supposed to be released by the Weinstein Company. But then the Me Too movement happened. And so the Weinstein Company has pretty much just imploded. And because of that, the movie was kind of sold off to different studios. The, direct, the director was allowed to kind of redo the movie you know, in the way he wanted to. And then it just came out with no fanfare. And that's that's its history. In fact, you know, the history behind this movie is just a bit more interesting than the movie itself. Which is, you know, which is usually what happens with movies like this. Like, movies that are shelved. And, like, the whole plot of this movie, like, it's called The Current War. Which I think is a hilariously ironic title, considering... This takes place in the 1800s. <laughs> but. You know, it's about Thomas Edison. Going up against this other dude. Who I've never heard of in my life. Not even in history class. <laughs> and. They're fighting over like electricity and stuff. And I'm like this is so. So. Low stakes. It's just. Like. This feels like it should have been on Netflix. Like a lot of the movies I see nowadays. I'm just like. That should have been on Netflix. That should have been on Netflix. This is a Netflix movie. Or maybe an Amazon movie. Or something like that. Like why is this even being released in theaters at all? Like, I don't get it. I mean it was probably some contractual obligation. But like why? <laughs> I, I don't get it. And what what else can I say? Even you know, with all the actors in here, none of them are real draws unless they're their superhero. Well, except Michael Shannon, he's a villain. Unless they're their superhero personas, because Benedict Cumberbatch, Cumberbatch, he doesn't have much going on other than being Doctor Strange right now. Uh, Michael Shannon, he's more of a supporting actor than a leading actor. Uh, Nicholas Holt, he had a uh, token. No one saw that, so, mm. and then Tom Holland, you know, he's, he hasn't had a big movie, well, he does have some voiceover roles in, like, Spies in Disguise and Doolittle, but they're voiceover roles, they don't really count, and, yeah, that's, that's it, that's all I can say about this movie, uh, opening weekend-wise, I have to say three million. As high as I can go, three, just three million dollars for the three days. Three million opening weekend, like eight, nine million total. 
It's going to have a very quick life in theaters. And yeah, that's it. That's all. That's all I can say about the current war director's cut. And we're done. We're done with October. We're done with the fall. And I'm just like, thank goodness. Because it was pretty uneventful overall. I mean, we had some big, you know, big movies that came out. You know, It Chapter 2. There was that. There was Hustlers. There was Down Abbey. And then the big one was Joker. But after that, everything just slid down real fast. And then it just ended on... It didn't even end on a high. or not even Nothing close to a high. It ended on such a low note that it's kind of depressing. But we do have the holidays coming up starting next week. And oh no. You know, originally I thought, oh, November is about to come. Things are going to get better, right? Then I look at this. This is November 1st. All the movies coming up. I'm just like, oh no. It's not getting better. At least, at least not yet. Hopefully it gets better soon. But next week, it, mm. But we'll talk about next week's releases when I talk about them. So yeah, that is all. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Like this video. Leave a comment. You want to go check out all my fall 2019 uh, box office predictions. I have a playlist of those. Got a playlist for summer. Summer blockbusters. Summer not blockbusters. I have to start. I have to eventually do my October recap. Then I have to do, you know, start my holiday box office predictions with all these just <laughs> super duper appealing movies right here. These four. Ugh. Well, Harriet actually looks all right. The other three, no. And uh, yeah, that's all. And I am out.